So let's start with easy questions that not many people ask. My PC specs, the laptop Core i5 around 2 GHz, video card is Radeon HD 5470M, 1 GB version and I have 4 gigs of RAM. My headset is just Microsoft Live Chat LX3000 which is a normal headset and to get good voice quality I use a lot of software and I have some Logitech mouse with two side mouse buttons. Why do I attack by pressing A and left clicking instead of just right clicking? It's a more defensive style of play because if I misclick instead of going closer to the enemy I will attack an air by creep. Also it trains orb walking for Arachna and Vindicator. It's also very useful when trying to attack enemies in the fog, attacking enemies without any creeps nearby, and it trains your denying. To sell anywhere on the map, you hold Ctrl, Shift, and right click on the item. You can find a lot of useful commands under control options, for example, Activate Ability Secondary, which controls activating and deactivating autocast. Somas, can you add me as a friend? I'm afraid my friend list is getting full, but I can invite you to my clan instead. Don't private message me using the interface in the top right corner, cause for me it's broken. Whisper me instead. I'm also on Steam. My Steam username is Somas9. Just request me as a friend. I won't add you, but I'll add you to the Somas group instead. Reason is the same as for Han, because there's a limit on the friend list. Hey Somas, what's the song at moment X and video Y? I have no idea. Look in the description. How do I vote in the poll? Go to my channel page where it says Somas with giant green letters and click on the giant vote button at the top. Or else you could go to one of my latest videos and find a link to the new poll there in the description. 20 originally from Latvia, now living in the UK, and my favorite hero has to be Wild, so I love Wild, so... And that sounded totally creepy, but I don't remember my best score. Yes, I do, and now I'm gonna be doing that much more often after I got my sub account, which is Newbie Somas, but really, you can check out the Clan War vid. There's quite a lot of useful stuff in the control options, as I mentioned before, and leveling up skills is one of those things with hotkeys. Specifically, I use Alt plus ZX CV for the 4 skills and Alt plus R for his stats. Using a healing potion on myself is called double activation. You can do that for skills and items and pretty much a lot of stuff. If the skill can be cast on yourself, you just double activate the ability by using your hotkeys or just by double clicking on them and they will be used on yourself. You can turn double activation on in the interface options. There are a couple of exceptions that do work but work a bit differently and those are Homecoming Stone that teleports you to base if you double activate it and the portal key which teleports you in the direction of your base. And tanks. I honestly like to play all roles, so if everyone was my skill rating, I'd probably just wait for them to pick and then pick based on their picks. I think Han is decently balanced at the moment, but if I had to say strongest hero, probably would be Ophelia on a person who knows how to play her. Yep, just anyone. I use the clan more like a friend list than an actual clan. I think I chose one hero every three weeks, and for the rework I chose Gemini. Not so much for the rework, but just because Gemini needs a buff. Maybe. Possibly sometime in the future. The carry player should carry a TP and farm, farm, farm while the enemy team is pushing and trying to do something, and when they're really close to the tower attacking, he should just teleport back. Just make sure the carry is farming while they're pushing as a team. Yes, I do think that S2 prices everything too high. I'd prefer them to price everything lower, even if it meant making less money. They would have a better image of themselves. Yeah, I think so. Definitely Nighthound. I mean, permanent invisibility, man. Also, if someone discovered me, I could just use Smoke Cloud and blink away and backstab people. That is just freaking amazing. Yeah, there is the problem of luck with teammates. My best advice would be to play a semi-carry. I hear that is good early game, but can also carry. And get as much farm as possible. If you can manage 300 plus GPM, you should get out of 1500, no problem. If not, I have bad news for you, bro. If I had a high leave percentage, I'd probably just play some Midwars games until I can play matchmaking. Or you can just pay for a stat reset. Well, I think that League of Legends is just more casual and easier, and Dota is slower paced. I prefer the fast pace and difficulty of Han. You probably can't find my announcer because I made it myself with the Team Fortress 2 audio files. You can find it in the description of video Somos93 characters at or in the description of this video, I'll leave a link as well. I used the fourth control group for the career, so I've been able to control four and select him with four as well, but there is a hotkey somewhere in the control options, you can just check it yourself. I hate Mage Bank, he's a freaking hard carry with a blink and he turns every game into a farm fast, so annoying to play against. You have to use control groups. Those are groups of units that you can bring up with the press of a number key. You can set a control group by selecting the units you want and binning it to control plus the number of the group you wish. For example, control plus one will bend the number of units to whenever you press one. They will be selected. So I prefer to use my hero on one, creeps on two, Ophelia plus creeps on three, and career on four as mentioned previously. 
I guess you mean how to disassemble items, you place them in the stash, which by the way you can do with control plus right click and vice versa, and while in the stash you left click on the item. It only works for items that don't have a recipe in their components. That you can do either in game in the hero decks or on the official heroesofnewer.com website in the guide section. I don't know why, I guess? Uh, only because this has a lot of thumbs ups. Elonia, because she's a shemale, you know, and stuff. Next question, you know, I never really knew what people saw in Ophelia. She's just kind of, yeah, Luna for sure. Best is such a word, but okay, best carry flint beast would support, demented shaman ganker would be a parasite and initiator magmas. The one who can take the most damage, I would have to say Maraxxus? I'm not sure if you can transfer your account, but you can definitely use proxies or programs to play in the international server. Well, your lucky Ascendry video is out, but tutorial is in the planning still. Very smart move there, son. Combining personal and hunt questions. Okay, girlfriend, nope. Number one hero wild soul, of course. Do you live stream? I did before, might in the future, but there are a few things I don't like about it. No job, I'm a student. Most likely not. I have made a few guides public, but the problem with them is how fast the builds change. After about a week after I published a guide or made one for myself, a private one, I pretty much play a different build. Another one of these top comments? I would have to say Armadon because it would hurt less. There is a button near the minimap. Personally, I found Bramble kind of lacking. Kinesis can be pretty fun, but he's a bit underpowered at the moment. I use the mana cost and instapick mods, you can find more about them in the setup guide video, link in the description. No, I think he's okay. I play him as a carry. It is a Russian. You can find the formula for stacking multiple chance based items at the top. In the example I provide, I stack two stout shields, which is a dodo term for two iron bucklers. For the armor, every point of armor adds 6% of your max HP to your effective HP. In other words, no matter how much armor you get, it's always effective. I can't really compare the two because in Han percent based items block a set number of damage and armor blocks a percent of damage. There's a lot of math involved. If you want, you will have to calculate it yourself or check out the Han forums. The examples I have provided are for physical damage only and do not factor in magic damage, of course. I don't really see the point of doing another viewer appreciation month because I'm kind of already doing it. I'm trying to release one or two videos a day and now I'm playing much more with viewers on my sub account. Of course, when I'm not busy. I don't make much money from YouTube. I'll just leave it at that. And last but not least, we have the software questions. Let's see, I use Fraps to record the video and audio and Goldwave to record my voice and microphone. I also use Isotope RX2 to process the audio from my microphone and I use Magix Movie Edit Pro 17 Plus to do all the video editing and process the audio a bit more. I think that's about covers it. If I find any more questions I want to answer, I'll just put the answers in the description of this video. See you later.